in the late Cretaceous period, temperatures inexplicably began to climb. A pretty dramatic change in the climate was becoming obvious at the end of the Cretaceous. We find fossil evidence of cold-blooded animals and plants that don't really tolerate the cold that well being found in the polar regions. Why the Earth began to warm after the cooling period is still a mystery. One interesting hypothesis involves the larger amounts of water that once covered much of the Earth. Rather than absorb the heat, they may have radiated it back into the atmosphere and caused a greenhouse effect. Whatever the case, these changes were tough to deal with for some dinosaurs, especially those up north. The colder temperatures and more extreme seasons had caused dinosaurs to downsize. Rising temperatures would reverse the trend, opening the door for one of the most terrifying predators the world has ever seen. As temperatures rose in the late Cretaceous period, lush foliage grew, supporting larger and larger herbivores. These giant plant eaters, such as the Triceratops, also developed horns for protection. This caused the meat eaters to develop new weapons as well. The result was a predator whose name instills fear even today. It is known as the king of the dinosaurs. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex is, without a doubt, the biggest and baddest predator that ever walked North America, and quite possibly the world. They first appeared during the late Cretaceous about 68 million years ago and lived right up to the extinction of the dinosaurs about 3 million years later. Their range included Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico, South Dakota, and Canada, and even as far south as Texas. T-Rex stood out as the largest predator in North America. It weighed up to seven tons, stood 16 feet tall, and measured 43 feet in length. There's no animal living today that has had the strength of Tyrannosaurus rex. To try to come up with something that had that kind of power, I don't know how it served, you know, like this, this, this animal was so strong that there's nothing, nothing that could escape if it decided it wanted to eat it. And when it ate, it had a mouthful of banana-sized teeth designed to slice through meat and crush bone. Its teeth are gigantic. They are thick from side to side. They're not cutting teeth by any means. These are pulverizing teeth. These could pierce through flesh. They could shatter bone. And they're anchored by extremely deep roots. The tooth of a dinosaur gives us a pretty good indication of its diet. Now, there's other ways to determine what an animal ate, and it has nothing to do with the teeth. It's poop, fossilized dung. They call them coprolites, and yes, even that stuff can become fossilized. By slicing it very thin and looking at it under magnification, we can actually see the remains of what the dinosaur ate. So by looking at the teeth and then looking at the dung, we get a picture of what was happening in between. Its teeth were huge, but its small arms were barely longer than a man's. Tiny as they were, they were actually functional. One of the things that people always mention and always think about is, why did it have such puny arms? Well, the arms are kind of small. I mean, they're a little bit bigger than mine, but they were really well muscled. But still, the claws on these hands were huge, and they could actually act like meat hooks and perhaps even stabilizing the prey. Along with its enormous size, one feature set T-Rex apart from all other meat eaters, true binocular vision. It had forward-focusing vision. It could focus in on something and know where to hit. T-Rex almost certainly had a pretty good visual field overlap, meaning it had pretty extensive binocular vision. What we see in the brain is that, indeed, the brain is structured to, in a sense, process that visual information. Much of the T-Rex's brain power went to his vision. In terms of intelligence, it probably wasn't quite as smart as a house cat. 
when the dinosaur faced mass extinction at the end of the Cretaceous period, likely due to an asteroid strike, even this monstrously powerful beast didn't have the tools to adapt and survive.